The Dr. Ray Podcast is a co-production of Ave Maria Radio and EWTN Radio. Here's today's monologue with Dr. Ray Gurendi. Some months ago, I was working out on a machine. I was on a machine. And uh, about uh, 10 feet to my left was a guy that was virulently attacking the Catholic Church. From what I can tell, he was a former Catholic, a disgruntled Catholic, a dissenting Catholic. And I just was listening a little bit. I mean, he was so loud about it, there was no way I couldn't listen. Talking about how he would never, ever forgive the Catholic Church because his mother was mistreated. And I didn't get the details either by a priest or by the laity where she went. And that was so wretched and awful what they did to her, that uh, not only would she never, ever return, but he would never return to anybody that awful, that any, any, I guess, institution, if you want to use that word, that awful and terrible. Normally, I don't say a word. I'm there to work out with my wife and my brother and my friends. But I turned to him and I said, are you blaming the Catholic Church for what people did wrong? And at that point, he kind of erupted. You don't know what happened. You don't know what they did to my mother, etc., etc. And I said, well, are you going? I said, that's not what the Catholic Church teaches. If your mom was mistreated, it was because the people acted against the Catholic Church. Well, forget that. There was no way. That just inflamed him, so I just shut up. My brother gave me a look like, let it go. But that is such a common, common, on top of its head, reversed. I'm trying to find the number of words that I could use to describe how ridiculous it is. To turn away from, for example, the Catholic Church, or religion, religion, Christianity. Because of people who have acted against the principles and the morality taught by the Catholic Church or Christianity toward you. Twenty-some years ago when the scandal was gathering its momentum, they've done, they did surveys. And the percentage of people who, that's it, I'm leaving the Catholic Church. Can't belong to any organization with people in it like that. Even then, I thought to myself, yes, what happened was terrible. It was terribly mishandled. But the bottom line, forgive the cliche, was that those priests and anybody else involved in any kind of cover-up was acting against what the church would teach. How can you judge the truth of something by those who act against it? That makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. I have three people that I know of who got divorced who had wretched marriages. Ah, marriage is just an awful thing. Marriage isn't the awful thing. The people who were in those marriages did things That made the marriage fall apart. Marriage itself, in its principles and in its ideals, is a beautiful thing. For the life of me, I've just never understood what it is about the human condition that says, if you wrong me, and you proclaim to be a religious person, then I will turn on the religion. But, 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 You're wronging me by going against the religion you proclaim. I think it goes down to this intractable clutching of the self. It comes down to how dare you act that way toward me. I can't count the number of people when you ask them, why they've left the church will cite some kind of emotional harm they felt, some kind of mistreatment, 
some kind of neglect. I was talking to somebody relatively recently, and she just said that the the women in her Bible study group just didn't seem to have much charity. And she just didn't want to belong to any kind of religion or any kind of faith where these people proclaimed this faith but didn't act it. Now, I suppose maybe, now this is stretching it, but maybe you could make the argument that if, in fact, they proclaim the name Catholic, the name Christian, somewhere in there should be enough grace for them to live closer to the principles taught by the religion, by Christianity, by Catholicism. I suppose you could say that, but it's still a huge leap of irrationality to say because they're not acting like they preach, therefore what they preach is awful. I don't for the life of me understand that one, but it's interesting how many people fall prey to it. They truly do. Now, one might say, well, they're using it as an excuse. They really, they don't really like the principles anyway. They don't really like the morals anyway. So it's easier to say that these people are hypocrites or these people don't treat me right, so therefore I don't want any part of the group that they belong to. I suppose you could use that as a justification. But to say, I left the church, I left religion, I left Christianity, or I left that particular brand of Christianity because of my experience... That makes no sense. Dr. Ray, you are minimalizing and trivializing how how much it can hurt to be mistreated by people that supposedly say they're holy. I don't think so. There is a statement. The greatest evil can only be done in the name of the greatest good. So, someone who proclaims to be a holy person who, or who proclaims to follow teachings that are good and holy and then goes against them, I can understand how that would have a higher impact on somebody. You would expect it from somebody who doesn't proclaim any morals, but somebody who proclaims morals and then acts against those morals, you think, well, that's, that is a shocker still doesn't lead to, therefore, what the religion is teaching is is wrong. It's a totally separate issue. More of Dr. Ray's Manologues can be found on his website, drray.com. Manologues, as well as full-length programs of The Doctor Is In, can be heard at AveMariaRadio.net and EWTN.com slash radio.